Well, for the better part of 30 years, I spent my time uh, designing and mostly illustrating. I had an opportunity to see a lot of things, even a few items that were, uh, I, I believe, were probably beyond the level of my security clearance. They pulled back the curtain and there was some flying saucers. Oh, wait, did you say flying saucers? He said yes. Well, they had a they had an easel next to it with a drawing, a cutaway drawing. Right? And then as the camera followed it, it just went straight up and disappeared outside. He just just seemed completely different. I talked to him on the phone, he sounded almost depressed. Based on a number of conversations we had over about a six month period beyond that time, uh, I was able to take all of the, the verbal and rough sketch information that he gave me and turn that into an illustration that he described as one of the most dangerous illustrations I'd ever done in my career because it was so accurate. The reason it's called Alien Reproduction Vehicle is that it's based on the study of extraterrestrial vehicles, but it is manufactured by human uh, military intelligence, aerospace contracting arrangements. So there's, there's this whole other level of things going on that nobody knows about. They use anti-gravity propulsion systems, which we have already figured out how they work in classified projects in the United States. This was a purely corporate endeavor. The UFOs are clearly coming from someplace else. They're clearly manned or humanoided. And the only question is whether we're going to figure out how they work before Lockheed or after. Phone calls where my life was threatened. Um, my girlfriends received phone calls where she was warned or asked to warn me that if I didn't stop what I was doing, then I'd be very sorry. 